And as we've reported time and time and mm -hmm. time again, flooding is uh, dangerous and deadly. Yeah, and it's an important first responders to know what to do to save lives. AccuWeather's Jillian Angeline joins us live at one of the nation's top training facilities. And of course, Jillian, you were just dealing with situations behind you in California last weekend. I know, right, Bernie and Justin? That's why this kind of training is so important. As you can see behind me, first responders from all over New York State are here this morning to get the experience to find out how they can save lives with raging waters. It's a chilly 59 degrees, and they're in wetsuits and dry suits on top of that in order to make sure that they're comfortable for this day long training. I'm here with Steve Kurtelowitz. Come on in. He's from the New York State Office of Fire Prevention and Control. Talk with me about the importance of this kind of facility better than classroom training just sitting in a room the, the big thing about this is we are able to do, put the students in a realistic training environment but it's controlled so it, there's a lot of safety factors built in this before this facility was open we had to do the training in the natural environment where we're relying on mother nature to provide us the water now we through the training season we have the water at a standard level at a standard speed and standard scenarios that this each student will uh, go through and experience time and time again. It doesn't matter if you come here on a Tuesday in April or a Wednesday in the fall, you're going to get the same experience, the same What training. they did tell me is they go until the end of October, and what they saw is it went all the way to snow. It was snowing on the last day of training. Now tell me about what they're going to be doing today. Uh, today's the second day uh, students are uh, in uh, this Swiss water technician class. The first day was the classroom and pool portion. Today's their first experience actually here in the channel in the, in the water. So we start them at the bottom of the channel uh, and in the slower moving current and we'll gradually work them up, uh, build up their skill level to uh, a point where they can swim the entire channel themselves today. Well, thank you so much, Steve. Really appreciate your time. The one thing that's important that we've been talking about before we're talking with you, Bernie and Justin, the importance of turn around, don't drown. We say that so many times at AccuWeather, but that's what first responders want people to know, that if they see rising waters, don't drive through it, because that's how people die, and that's why they really want people to heed those warnings, heed that advice. Sending it back to you in the studio. All right, Jillian Angeline, live in New York. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out these other videos here and be sure to subscribe for new content and the latest weather news from AccuWeather.